Hello, everyone. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today, we are diving into the exciting world of information security. With the ever-increasing use of technology, protecting our sensitive data has never been more critical. So, let's get started on understanding the fundamentals of information security. Before going ahead, let's first understand the information security. Information security, or InfoSEC, is all about safeguarding data and information from unauthorized access, use, or any form of harm. Think of it as your digital fortress, protecting the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of your valuable assets. To better grasp the concept, let's break down these three pillars of information security. The three pillars of information security. These three terms are synonymous with the very commonly known CIA triad which stands for confidentiality, integrity, and availability. The CIA triad is also commonly referred to as the three pillars of security and most of the security policies of an organization are built on these three principles. First pillar, confidentiality. Confidentiality ensures that only authorized individuals can access sensitive information. Example criminal steals customers' usernames, passwords, or credit card information. Different types of information require different levels of confidentiality, and the need for confidentiality can change over time. Personal, financial and medical information require a higher degree of confidentiality than the minutes of a staff meeting, for example. Similarly, some companies need to protect information on competitive future products before their release but may need to make the same information public afterward. Second pillar, integrity. Integrity ensures that information remains accurate and unaltered during storage, transmission, or processing. Digital signatures and checksums help us maintain data integrity. Example. First example. Someone alters payroll information or a proposed product design. Second example. If a bank transfers. $10,000 to another financial institution, it is important that the amount does not change to $100,000 during the exchange. The concept of integrity also applies to electronic messaging, files, software and configurations. Lastly, we have availability. Availability ensures that information is accessible when needed. Redundancy and load balancing help us achieve high availability, reducing downtime risks. Example. Your customers are unable to access your online services. Now we will see the information security measures to protect confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. For availability. Redundant array of independent disks, RAID. Clustering. Load balancing. Redundant data and power lines. Software and data backups. Disk shadowing. Colocation and off-site facilities. Rollback functions. Failover configurations. For protecting integrity. Hashing, data integrity. Configuration management, system integrity. Change control, process integrity. Access control, physical and technical. Software digital signing. Transmission cyclic redundancy check, CRC, functions. For protecting availability. Encryption for data at rest, whole disk, database encryption. Encryption for data in transit, IPsec, TLS, PPTP, SSH. Access control, physical and technical. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content.
Thank you for watching, and stay secure out there.